What's up YouTube? Fred here. Welcome to the channel. If you're new to the channel, I do car and motorcycle stuff. On to today's video. So I'm really excited. Today's Sunday drive is the Bear Notch Road up in the White Mountains of New Hampshire. It's off the Kangamangas Highway, which connects Lincoln, New Hampshire to Conway, New Hampshire. It's an excellent road. Uh, to get to it, you take the Kangamangas Highway, which in its own right is a very good road. Uh, the trick to that is get here early or be there late. Um, middle of the day, it's going to be slowed down with lots of um, sightseeing and, and RVs and things like that. So if you want to get a, a clear run on the road, uh, definitely go early morning. Um, it's about 930 right now, but it's pretty empty uh, with everything going on with the virus. There's not a lot of people up here. Um, but the King of Angus isn't why I'm here. Bear Notch Road is. So Bear Notch Road is a connecting road that goes from the King of Angus Highway over near Atitash Bear Peak. And I forget the name of the town. It might be Bartlett. I could be totally wrong. Um, but it's an excellent, excellent driving road. It's winding. It's hilly. It's out in the middle of nowhere. There's no towns. There's no houses. It's all state land. And it's just a really fun road. Um, the speed limit's not very high, but it's also just, it's so windy that you don't really need it to be. And so I took the Mini... Uh, figuring that I would change it up a little bit, take the Mini and drive on it. I'll definitely do one at some point in the Corvette. So my next video, uh, which I'm filming later today, uh, is actually there's a road that requires being in the Mini in order to do it. Uh, the Corvette would not be able to do that road. So stick around, uh, stay tuned for that, and on to today's video. All right, so we're on the road now, so let's give it a shot. Now, since I'm not in the Corvette, I don't have the PDR, uh, but I do have a GoPro, so I've set that up to get kind of the forward view of the road. So Baronash Roads is one of those famous roads in New Hampshire that they close it in the winter. There's actually a, a highway gate that they close uh, when, the, when the weather gets bad and when the road gets snowy and icy because it's not plowed. It is a paved road, but it is impassable by cars at least in the winter. Um, and I believe they might open it up for snowmobiles. I'm not sure about that. But you'll see, I mean, it's it's super scenic. It's winding, it's hilly, there's water. I mean, it's it's checks all the boxes for uh, driving enthusiasts. So in general, the White Mountains is one of the gems of New Hampshire. The coast is kind of the more famous part of New Hampshire that everyone knows to go to. There's beaches and beautiful coastline. But honestly, the mountains are as much, if not more, impressive. And it's somewhere where my wife and I like to spend a lot of time. Um, Baranach being a great driving road, but there's all sorts of hiking, there's camping, there's stuff to do, there's good restaurants in all the towns, and uh, really just an awesome place to be. Um, one of the reasons that I wanted to live north of the city, that my wife wanted to live north of the city, is so that we would have closer and easier access to things like this. Um, certainly, this isn't necessarily my wife's cup of tea. She doesn't just come and go and do hours of driving. I do, but we do a lot of stuff up here together. We'll do kayaking, we go hiking, we go and find, there's a bunch of spots by the river where you can, uh, I think it's the Swift River. There's a bunch of places along the Swift River where you can just sort of set up shop, have a picnic, uh, get some beach chairs and stuff. And in the summer, it, the water is absolutely amazing. Um, so this is a really, a really fun place to be. And Bear Notch is just one of many great roads up in this area. If you haven't been up here, I really suggest it. It's, it's a lot of fun. They even got some fresh pavement here. That's not too bad. with this car the turbos spool up if you put it in sport mode the turbos are kind of always running and it always has the power but you don't get that surge of power as you roll on and so I tend to keep it in mid mode um, I, I find that I like that surge of power uh, a little more than just always having it Winter 
is it, it is a pretty harsh winter. So there are sections of this road that are a little bit bumpy. It looks like they've actually chopped the top off those lumps and put new pavement on this year. Um, the last couple years it's been pretty bumpy. I've come through here in the Corvette and I actually have to go around or did have to go around a couple of them just because I was worried about scraping. So just something to keep in mind. <laughs> this is so much fun. I haven't been up here this year. It's been probably six, eight months since I've last driven up here when the weather was nice. So being able to, to go through here, especially in the Mini, is a treat. A couple pull-off spots here where you can take in the view. It's really pretty. There are all sorts of mountains. You're kind of like halfway up a mountain ridge, which is pretty nice. One nice thing about the Mini for roads like this is that this is a very small car from the outside. Inside, obviously, it feels pretty spacious, but outside, it's fairly small. I can I can probably get four feet of space on either side of the lane, depending on where I'm where I'm going and what road I'm on. And so the nice thing about that is that I can I can kind of place the car where I need to and take a little bit better of a line, as well as I can avoid any of those bumps or obstacles that I was talking about earlier. So in the comments of a few of my videos, some people were complaining about, oh, why are you comparing a Mini to uh, the Corvette? Why why would that be what you compare it to? So the things that come to mind, first of all, that's a car I have a lot of experience with, and it might be something that a lot of you, a lot of viewers might have experience with. So you have a comparison. The second thing is that the Mini is much, much faster and more of a driver's car than a lot of people realize. And so to, to say that it's not a sports car, to say that it doesn't have that driving, engaging, fun driving experience is completely missing the point and selling it short. So to anybody that thinks that, I don't know what to tell you. The Mini is an excellent sports car by any measure. Go and read the reviews if you don't believe me. definitely check one out. All right, so that was Bear Notch Road. Thanks for joining me. Uh, that was an absolute blast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't been up to the White Mountains, I really suggest Bear Notch Road off the Kangamangas Highway. If you haven't, um, let me know what you think if you have driven it. And until next time, Fred out.